Thank you, Powder, for sponsoring this video. So today I'm gonna show you how to be able to record and edit your gameplay and so much more utilizing Powder, which is a free tool for gamers. It's gonna change the way that you create content and they've added tons of new features, making it the only tool you need to be able to post clips on social media, on TikTok, on YouTube Shorts, to be able to create gaming videos, to be able to record your gameplay. Like it is pretty crazy. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to powder.gg. I'll put a link in the description of this video and you'll see here that Powder is now free for gamers. You'll be able to download it here on your PC. Once you have it downloaded, you're gonna open up the dashboard that you see here now. The first thing you're gonna see is the option to be able to record and import a video. But before we dive deep into how to start recording and editing gaming content, we first need to go ahead and set up our settings. So we'll come here to the bottom left and select settings, and we're gonna select where we want our downloads to be saved and where we want our clips to be saved. And then for storage limit, I like to leave it at 25. And then we'll move here to where it says the recorder because this is the most important aspect of it. If you don't stream, and I'll get to that a little bit later, you can use powder just to record your gameplay that you have on your PC. So the first thing you're going to do is select where you want your recordings to be saved. Then you want to set up a hotkey and by default control F8 is the option that you see there, but you can edit that to be any hotkey that you want. I just encourage you to use a key on your keyboard that you may not accidentally press to either stop or start your recording. Then you're able to go ahead and utilize your microphone. So it's also going to pick up your audio if you have a microphone connected to your your PC, that can be your headset, any audio device that you have connected. Then for the audio output, you can be able to select what you want that to be. And here's the beautiful part. It's gonna record whatever screen you want it to. So for example, if you have three monitors or two monitors, you can decide to have one of the monitors being recorded, not both, right? So we'll say here, I have my powder on my right screen and then I have my gameplay in the middle and that's where I wanna record. Here's the crazy part. You can use powder to record 4K video, which is insane. And the fact that this is free, it's also crazy as well. So Again, you can select 4K, native is gonna be whatever your monitor size is, 1080p, 720. And again, higher the quality, the bigger the file. So just keep that in mind when you go to go ahead and save your recordings. So for me, I like to utilize 1080p because when I upload to YouTube or to TikTok, 1080p is more than enough. And then for your frame rate, you have it at 60. Then for general settings, you have the option to be able to start powder on boot. So if you know that every time you power up, you want powder to open up so you can record right away and you can toggle this on. For me, I leave it off because I like to use powder when I want to have it open. So next, we'll come here to sources. And before we go ahead and start recording, I want you to go and click on import a video. So you're gonna be able to upload gaming content that you've already recorded. Maybe you record it on your console and you wanna share it to your computer and then bring it in here to be able to edit it. You can do that as well. You can go ahead and share links to your Twitch, to your YouTube, or to your Kickstream, and that's also gonna bring in that video. I encourage you that if you stream to Twitch um, or if you stream to YouTube, that you connect both Twitch and YouTube to Powder because it's gonna go ahead and automatically pull in those, those content directly into Powder. So you'll see here that I have my Twitch streams that come in automatically right when I finish. And then you'll see here that I also have my YouTube videos and my YouTube content and my YouTube live streams that come in here automatically, ready for me to be able to edit, customize, and turn into actual clips. And then Powder, here's the record recordings that I've done with the recording feature here. So let's go ahead and hit the recording. So you've decided to say, hey, I got powder open. I'm ready to go ahead and start recording my gameplay. You hit start recording. It's gonna go ahead and record your content. You hit stop. It's gonna go ahead and save it. And it's gonna add it here to your sources for the recording. Here's the beautiful part. This is where this is the game changer. And it's so different from any other recorder because no other recorder does this. Powder, once you finish your recording, it's gonna find the best moments and the best clips for you to be able to utilize either for a horizontal video or for a vertical clip. So just imagine that for a second, you just got done doing a stream that was two, three hours long. You just got done recording a gameplay that's two, three hours long. Now you gotta sit here and go back and look for all the right moments. No, Powder does all the heavy lifting for you. So you'll come in here and you'll select the game that you just got done playing. And there's tons of games to be able to choose from. And what this does is that once you select the game, Powder knows now what to look for in that game, right? So let's say, for example, I'm gonna select just uh, Call of Duty. And if you don't see the game that you want here, just select my game is not listed and it'll still do the same, right? So I'm just gonna select my game's not listed, select analyze. It's gonna say, hey, do 10 minute videos for best, right? Now, when I do this, it's not gonna go ahead and pull any clips because this is just a sample six second recording that I did, but 
Once it finishes, it's gonna list all the clips here for you. Now I'm gonna show you an example what this looks like. So you can see here that I have a stream that I'm currently prepping at the moment, right? So it's finding the right moments in a three hour live stream for me to be able to utilize. So I'm gonna go to one that I have already completed. So I'm gonna scroll down here so you can see what this actually looks like. So here's a stream that I have already done. And this is what it's gonna look like for you, whether it's a stream or whether it's recorded gameplay. You're gonna go ahead and see all the clips that I went ahead and pulled. Again, this is a three hour live stream and it went ahead and found all these clips for me. Just, just look at me scrolling here to all the clips that I went ahead and found but it gets better. Let's say for example, that you're like, man, uh, I really am looking for that one clip that I did incredible in, right? Well, while you're recording or while you're live streaming, if something happened and you say, clip it, or that's a clip or whatever word you wanna say, you can come into powder and literally search that exact word. So I'm gonna select clip and I'm gonna hit enter and I'm gonna just search this and it's gonna go ahead and find for me now all the videos where moments where I said clip. So you can see here that if I scroll in the transit, I'm gonna clip them, right? Uh, I'm going to clip, 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 right? So if I click this one, right? Why was this, why was this a clip? And you can go ahead and also edit. Like you see, there's nothing happening here. So I wanna trim this down, making it to get, I wanna get to the action. Now there's one, okay? Oh, there's two. Let's go. Got them both, and that's a big win. So you see how I was able to just find that clip so quickly? And you'll see here that it's found loudness, so people in my party going getting hype, right? Which is what this is what you heard right here, All right? Go, getting excited. It finds kills, victories here for you. Again, saving you hours of having to go through gameplay footage, going through a stream to find the actual clips. Okay, so that's just one aspect of it. Then let's say that I've selected these clips and I want these clips to be able to utilize. So now I have selected clips here. Now let's go ahead and edit these specific clips to how we want them to look. So I'm gonna select this clip here. There we go. He got me. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just make it a little bit smaller. You can adjust this. And if you wanna see more of the video, you can kinda zoom out and you'll be able to see way more of the recording that you have there. So I have this slave clip, right? It's gonna save the clip because I want that exact moment. It's gonna go ahead and save it here for me in just a few seconds. Okay, so now what we can do is we can go ahead and edit this. So this is right now, it's horizontal. What if I want it to be vertical for TikTok or for YouTube Shorts or Instagram Reel? And now we can go ahead and edit the actual layout. So when we come here and edit the layout, you're gonna see here that I already have a template created. And this is the beautiful part about this is that you can create one template for all your verticals, save it, and every time you're playing the same game, you can just click a button, it creates a template and creates it for you. You see here, I didn't do anything, right? This is already created here for me. Now, you may not have it like this, so for you, I'm gonna go start from scratch so you can see what this actually looks like, right? You may not have no layers here. So what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and select add layer. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my gameplay in the middle. Again, we're creating this initial template to be able to utilize. However, let's say you're like, hey, I don't know what I wanna utilize. Powder went ahead and looked out for you as well. If you click load here, they've already created several templates for you to be able to utilize for Valorant, Rocket League, and they're constantly gonna be adding more into here. And you'll also see your saved ones as well. So let's go ahead. If you found one that you like, you can use that. Otherwise, we're gonna create our own here in just a moment. So we'll click add layer. First, we'll start with our gameplay. We'll then select another layer. And the next thing that I wanna do is maybe have myself, right? Um, as, as an option. And then you can come here and size yourself down, right? To be able to utilize. And then we'll add another layer, which would be here our mini map, because we want people to be able to see our mini map. So same thing, you'll add a layer, you'll hover over the mini map, and then you'll be able to go ahead and select it. And then here you're able to adjust and minimize this here. So then you can decide if you wanna show your gun, right? So I'll have that there. Um, and now what we can do is hit save as. So now say every time that I'm playing Call of Duty, these are the elements that I'm gonna want. I'm always gonna be in the bottom left side. My mini map's gonna be there. My gameplay is gonna be there and my gunplay is gonna be there. So I'm gonna say main COD template, hit save. And now this is the beautiful part, right? Let's say that Powder found 50 clips for you. And you're like, oh man, I gotta come do this for every 50 clips. Apply to the whole session, okay? What this is doing now is that every single clip I now has right. the layout I that I want. So I if I remove this here from the search, every single clip now is gonna have the right layout that I want. So you can see here, this is the one that we didn't edit. Here's another. Oh, he almost okay, me. and now we have this edited to the way we want. 
here's here it is for the vertical here's the second one it's already set up if i come back to my suggested clips here again everything is exactly how i needed you see here we did this one time and it literally changed it for every single clip saving you hours of time and we're not even done yet so let's say for example you're like hey i like these 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 two clips okay we'll save these clips it's gonna save them now you've edited them you got them set up to where you want them to be it's gonna save these here for you once you save them it's going to bring them here to the clips section. Okay. Now that we're here, these are all the clips that I found in my stream for that moment. So let's say the, this is the, this is the one that I went ahead and like, Now you can see here that my clips are currently loading. So if I come here and let's say this is the clip that I want, I can select multiple clips from other days, select that there. And then here you have, you can either just export them however you want. Um, you can export them horizontal or vertical. But let's say these are the these are the two clips that I just went ahead and made. I'm gonna create a new project. Now we're in the editor. We're in the same exact tool. Like, uh, mind you, I'm I'm speeding through this, right? Um, and when you're in here, you're gonna be able to customize this to your liking. So here's the clips that I just went ahead and recorded. Okay. Now you can just leave it as is and just let the two clips happen. You can still adjust them, make tweaks. You can add more clips. If you decide, oh, you know what? I actually want to add another clip in here. You can add that clip. You can then go ahead and add it into the timeline. You can have it here, adjust it. And now we have an option to be able to select here, whether we want this to be horizontal for a YouTube video. Like, hey, I want this actually to be a YouTube video. Okay, cool. There it is. You have your horizontal. I want this to be a vertical. Here it is. Here's your vertical. So you have a different layout for your horizontal and for your vertical. And now you can go ahead for vertical. What's the biggest thing that happens when you're watching TikToks Reels? Maybe sometimes you don't watch with audio or maybe you can't really hear what somebody says. Powder allows you to be able to add captions. So I can come here, select generate captions. It's gonna go ahead and analyze the video for me. Again, you can see here that I'm, I'm not doing too much lifting. And as a streamer or as a gaming content creator, the biggest thing that you wanna be do is to create as much content as you possibly can as easily as you can okay and this is what powder is allowing you to do yet alone like i mentioned before uh powder is free for gamers so again it's a tool um that you're going to be able to utilize so this is going to go ahead and find the captions here for me once i've gone ahead and got in the captions i can decide whether i want them on whether i want them off and i can customize the wordings in case something is not spelled the right way it's not going to be 100 percent perfect but again this is all about saving you time and making it easy as you can see here right here are the captions so now when I have my captions here, I can go ahead and utilize this and say, okay, this should say, oh no, All right? And then I go down and now you can see here that as I play, I'm not gonna lie. Here are my, here's my captions, okay? Oh my God, I can get it. No, behind the building. Wait, wait. And I think right that the right there is something that is extremely, extremely powerful. You can come and reset the captions. You can regenerate them, right? And I think that's what makes it very powerful. Sooner or later, you're going to be able to have certain layouts and certain structures to be able to utilize. But for right now, let's say this is exactly what I want. I actually want this to be a YouTube video to have the caption. So, oh, oh no. Oh, he almost killed me. I'm not going to lie. All right. So now I can come here and export. I can go ahead and save it. And now this is gonna download, save onto my computer. And now I can go ahead and upload this horizontal video up to YouTube, or I can use the vertical and upload it to TikTok or Instagram Reel. You can just see how powerful this tool is to be able to go ahead and record your content, to be able to edit your streams, to be able to grab clips, to grow your social media. So go ahead and try Powder out, Let's get started, and then go ahead and watch this video right here where I show you how to be able to start streaming with only 10 hours a week to go full-time in one year. Click that video right there. I'll see you guys in the next one.